Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Fearsome here. We have an update coming to Pirate 101. It's uh, Crocotopia. Now, uh, y'all don't get too excited. There's no increase in the level cap or anything like that. Um, or Hercules does receive some type of promotion. Um, I think Test Test Realm literally just dropped, and uh, well, I'm I'm not going to get a chance to play through because uh, well, uh, I'm in the middle of a hurricane right now. I guess. It's nothing too big. It's like a, I think a category two or a category one, whatever. So, um, <laughs> the the store that I work at uh, will be staying open. So, uh, well, I'll, I'll be there because guaranteed everyone there will be calling out. So, uh, that's where I'll be. Um, however, you know, a couple of these pieces of gear look kind of interesting. Um, I think the ring and the charm. Uh, the ring gives like all the haywire stuff, the shot, the the uh, strike and um, surge of technomancy, uh, and the charm gives uh, gives elusive and turn the tide and merciless. So those two things, you know, if I farm for anything, those will be the two things I really try to get. Um, this the sacred axe as well. Because they're reviving Super Strike. The other stuff is kind of cool. It's kind of, you know, situational. The other one, maybe. I mean, there's a, a gun that drops that gives five range and gives uh, Witch Hunter. So, you know, you don't have to train Witch Hunter anymore on your Musketeer. So, that's a thing. Um, the new powers do look like they could be rather overpowered. I think particularly the Devastating Strike. It looks like it's a single target purge, and hey, if that's the case, um, that's that's overpowered and guaranteed. It will be banned in every single tournament that a that a PvP um, that the PvP community uh, will host. So just uh, keep that in mind right there. It's, you'll farm very hard for that piece of gear, and they'll just end up banning it. That uh, the picture to the right hand side um, is the upper right hand side. That that's you can hide a unit. You can select a unit and hide it for five turns. You know, kind of like Walking Darkness, but you can select a different unit besides, you know, the unit that's using the power. The left hand side uh, that's a damage and slow. It doesn't look like a huge amount of damage, um, but it looks like it's something that's cool. Um, whatever. Uh. And yeah, the devastating strike is the uh, lower left-hand corner. The one in the right-hand corner, the left, uh, no, the right-hand corner, the uh, lower right-hand corner. That's just a summon. I don't know how good it is, but you know how summons usually are. Probably not worth it. And uh, well, PvP community bans those, so it's like you're not going to be using it more than likely. Um, ritual of proposal, or whatever it is. So that's a uh, that's a general rundown of all the gear. Um, thankfully, you know, you can go to the Atmoplex on uh, Twitter and they pretty much data mine, like all the stuff, all the new assets and stuff like that. Heck no, I'm not going to have time to farm any of this right now. As I said, you know, I'm living through a hurricane, so whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, Nurse Quinn gets an update. Nurse Quinn gets an update. Yes, you heard me. She gets uh, Ruse, Rally, and Revive. And she gets this power right here, Triage. Which, it looks like it removes negative effects. So, it's basically Dispel and a Heal. Now, it says it's rank 1 of 1. Now, does that mean it's kind of like an epic? And it randomly triggers? I don't know. Maybe. If so, you know, hey, that's that's crazy she's still a privateer she still has no agility um so will she be used in pvp i highly doubt it although it is interesting they're giving these new powers right here um so she'll definitely be very interesting for companion wars and i'm really excited to to use her when uh when i finally get something going in this game again um but uh, once again, you know, if I come back, I'm not going to log on. You know, just find two people in Avery's court, no one in the spar chamber. Like it's pretty much been. So if I come back, I want to be able to know that I will, you know, be able to get a full-blown uh, 
4v4 companion wars going, you know, without, you know, having to wait four or five hours. That's pretty much my conditions on coming back. I prefer to do companion wars because it's basically PvP without having to farm anything, and y'all know me right now, I'm just not in the mood for farming anything. But it's cool that they're updating the game. Apparently, they are going to add a Mirage dungeon. Now, y'all don't know what Mirage is. It's basically... Uh, it's basically a world based on Arabia, I guess. Um, Wizard 101 has it, so it's interesting. It's like a housing dungeon they're going to be adding. Pretty cool. They haven't added anything like that since uh, Smuggler's Arena, so, I mean, it's about time they did something like that. Now, any details about gear for that? They haven't leaked anything yet, so we don't know. Um, but uh, they're working on it, apparently. Um, but yeah, y'all, um, uh, I don't know what else to say except, uh, you know, it's cool to see them working on the game again, and, um, well, you know, I'm not going to rule out coming back. I don't think this is the right direction for the game. I think that they need to, um, fix RNG. They need to remove... To be more specific, they need to remove damage rolls or greatly reduce them. They need to rework how critical works, have a flat rate of damage instead of having the super epic and mega rolls, um, and have them, you know, at such uh, different margins, such uh, vast different margins. Um, and then they, you know, need to. I would say they need to rework how accuracy works in this game a little bit. Um, really, if there was a if there was a you know guaranteed hit or miss system, that would be ideal. I could live without the accuracy thing as long as the hits didn't vary so very much. Um, but yeah. Um, like, what I would suggest is splitting the chains. Like I said, Relentless should um, should be based on if you start the attack as a basic attack, then it would be Relentless and Burst Fire and the variants. And then if you start with a card, say you start with an Assassin Strike or a Vicious Charge, it would be the Blade Storms and the Double Taps. That way, you know, it's not some insane chains based on basically luck, you know. Oh, I randomly criticaled. Oh, I randomly got a relent. And then it goes out of control. And someone does a bunch of damage. Not based off of the skill of the move that they made, but purely off of luck. And no one really enjoys that. Um, I think psychologically, not being in control of what you... Uh, not being in control of the outcomes. It just... Uh, doesn't have it just doesn't have appeal to me and to many other people you know I think being in control is just something that um, it's just something that I enjoy that's that's kind of why the game of chess appeals to me and you know anything that involves a dice always turned me off but you know I'm guessing some people are different maybe some people like the RNG who knows whatever you know this game, you know, in its current state may appeal to them. That's great. But I think this game could be so much more. So, that's one thing I think they should change. Um, another thing is larger maps. Um, you know, split combat with more units on the field. And um, they need to fix the fork glitch for real. So, if y'all know what the fork glitch is, um, the fork glitch is basically where... Uh, Buffs do not wear off in 4v4s. So basically, you can't have a proper 4v4 anymore. Because what ends up happening is you end up throwing on a couple of forts, and those forts never come off, and you basically have immune units running around the map at some point, and it gets out of control. And basically, matches would last for literally until the server sets down for maintenance. So it's like, no. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> they messed up on that one, and they need to fix it. Um, and the fact that it's still in the game is honestly a joke. Um, so I'm happy that they're adding stuff to the game. I think that they're working along in the wrong direction, frankly. So that's what I have to say. Um, 
I will see you all in another video.